Welcome to another exciting episode of Doug's Electronic Repair Bench. Now I want to get a close up of this bottom. And the inner workings of it. So we can see the bottom looks pretty good. Speaker. Everything looks pretty good. Yeah, it's a little bit of a well, that's the ground for the plug. So that'll that's where that's where I'll have to be grounded back. So anyway, what we're seeing here is um, looking pretty good. Now this uh, attenuator uh, cover comes off also. Uh, that was talked about. So, and this gets like, there's 12 screws in this cage here that comes off. So we'll take that off next. close this tuning capacitor so as not to take a chance on bending any of those no problem everything looks fine and dandy inside here more ceramic caps let me take some more close-ups here I get some coils there no doubt for the tuning all right looks pretty good Problemos. Looks uh, real nice. No, no cleaning necessary in here that I can see. Everything looks spick and span and it looks really nice. Um, so, um, now what I want to do is take off, take off this and see what's underneath there um, and take this off Alright. Now there's the, uh, the part that I need to take off. And I don't have to take it off right at the moment, but eventually that's going to be replaced with a uh, BNC connector. And I'm looking over here for a good place to put the BNC connector for the frequency counter. 
the guy that did, has the page that where all these directions and everything came from, he uh, he put his on the side of the cabinet. I didn't care for that because just like when you take this apart, uh, you know, it doesn't. Uh, well, that's off off center like that. I may be screwing something up, but I'm gonna put it back on center. Again, let's look at this close-up wise. I'm thinking right about here would be a good spot for it. It's right next to that uh, red, right in here or here. What about here? You can see that's that may even be better right there. Right next to the uh, pilot light. I think that would be a good spot for it. Free and easy. I'll plenty of access there. I think that's a good spot right there. So that's when that time comes. That's what we're going to do there. All right. So that's it on that. All right. I don't know what else to tell you guys. Um, the insides look pretty good. I don't see any problems other than the cord. Uh, I'll probably use this cord until I can find a, a suitable replacement. Uh, I kind of like to replace it with the same type of cord, the flat cord. Uh, make sure it goes back together right. may get a new strain relief though. That thing is probably... Well, the cord itself is probably the biggest problem with that. But anyway, I don't see any major problems any uh, anywhere that I need to uh, uh, go with it. I think uh, the uh, where the uh, let me take another picture here. I think I saw this on his on his other instructions for adding the. Uh, I think it goes for the, between this ground here and this signal port here. I think that's the uh, where it comes off the oscillator, and we'll get the uh, frequency counter run over to there. It runs to the outside of this. This shield goes through a connector and then it'll connect over here and go over to there. So I think that's the plan on that. Um, I don't have all the parts for that yet, so I have to order those. So probably what I'll do is uh, before I even put this back together, I'm going to clean the outside and uh, kind of like clean the faceplate. Good. And uh, like I say, I'll go ahead and use it like this for a while just to see test it out and see how it's going to work um, the only thing the only problem I have the only have problems you have with it all apart like this is the uh, fact that a signal leaks out and you know it can affect your whatever you're working on um, that's nothing I'm going to worry about just to test it it's not going to be a problem because all I want to do is see if it's actually putting out a signal and things like that so, we'll just you know, use a radio receiver for that. That's all you got to have. So, so anyway, I think I'll break this here, and I'll hope to uh, speed some of this up so we won't be too bored with this. So, um, I guess that's about it from here for now. So, you guys have a good day. Thanks for watching.